Few regions in the world have two world soccer champions. Rio Grande do Sul does, but it's got much more than that. Located in southern Brazil, the size of Italy, and larger than the United Kingdom, the state of Rio Grande do Sul is inhabited by over 11 million people with a multicultural and unique background who have helped to build the richest and most diverse human capital in Brazil. The state is the fourth largest economy in Brazil with a GDP of $91.9 billion. Since the beginning of 2019, despite a drought and the COVID-19 pandemic, the local economy has grown 4.7%, about three times more than Brazil. Rio Grande do Sul is an innovation, science and technology hub, the cradle of Brazil's automation and information technology industry, as well as an international health sciences hub and a global benchmark in Agritech. Responsible for 11.5% of the scientific production in Brazil, the state has the second highest percentage of PhDs among its population and the fourth highest percentage of people with postdoctoral degrees. Here, we also have the two best science and technology parks in the country, as well as the best federal university and the third and fourth best private universities. The state has 136 higher education institutions, 588 museums, and 534 public libraries. And more than 60% of the cities have a high development level, according to international standards. The economy of Rio Grande do Sul is supported by 153.9 thousand kilometers of roadways, as well as by the third busiest airport in the country in terms of international passengers, 750 kilometers of navigable waterways, and the second most important Brazilian port, with maritime routes connecting it to more than 90 countries. Rio Grande do Sul is the largest national producer of biodiesel, leather, footwear, wines, automation, tobacco, rice, agricultural and road machines. It is also the second largest manufacturer of furniture, metal products, machinery and equipment. In 2021, the state received an international certificate of a foot and mouth disease free zone without vaccination, thus confirming the quality of the animal protein produced here and opening markets on a global scale. This impressive economy is powered by more than 340 energy enterprises in operation, with 80% of the power generated being from renewable sources. Rio Grande do Sul has the largest wind power potential in the country, being the third Brazilian state in terms of distributed generation of solar power. This is Rio Grande do Sul, a diversified state with hardworking and qualified people, with an intense cultural scene and beautiful regions that have become world heritage sites and happy memories for thousands of tourists. Rio Grande do Sul is a state line at the center of South America's main consumer region, being 1,500 kilometers away from global metropolises such as Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Buenos Aires, Montevideo and Santiago. It is home to the highest population and wealth concentration in Latin America, with 70% of the entire region's GDP and 150 million inhabitants. In a constant dialogue with the society and the Rio Grande do Sul State Assembly, the government is implementing an agenda of reforms and tax adjustments with unprecedented results, balancing the state's finances and expanding investments. This financial reorganization enabled the government to launch Avançar, the largest investment program in recent decades. More than $300 million are being invested in roads alone, with own resources, improving the logistics and the competitiveness. With Avançar, more than $1 billion will improve the quality of life of the population of Rio Grande do Sul in all areas. A state government that works with a program of partnerships, concessions, privatizations and changes to laws and codes in order to create the perfect scenario for those who want to invest and grow. There are 17 projects with opportunities in areas such as infrastructure, security, sanitation and leisure. During the next 30 years, $2.1 billion will be invested by the private sector in the concession of 1,131 kilometers of roadways, improving mobility and logistics for both people and companies in strategic locations of the state. 
The privatizations already carried out in the areas of power transmission and distribution at CAE, the state's electric power company, reduced the state's burden and will improve the supply services to consumers, making the state even more attractive to new ventures and developments. The privatization of the state-owned gas company will expand the energy supply. The privatization agenda also offers other opportunities. Sale of CAE's power generation branch, Capital opening and transfer of state-owned sanitation company Corsan, creating the conditions to universalize water supply and sewage treatment with investments of $2 billion by 2033. Here is the place where new businesses and investment opportunities are being created for players from all over the world. State of Rio Grande do Sul in southern Brazil, open to the world, facing the future.